Oh, well, goddammit. Okay. So, hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Righteous High Five, and welcome to a sort of a brand new video. Sort of. Um, so, a very good friend of mine, a uh, link uh, to her channel will be down in the description. Uh, Michael Marie, my boo, my bae. Um, I, 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 I can't make women hearts or women butts very well with my hands. I'm, I'm not coordinated enough. Um, she did a video, and then she tagged me in said video, and I already did one very similar to this. That will also be somewhere, so go watch that. It, it, it does a lot of, like, why did you start YouTube? How'd you do this? How'd you come up with that? And how? what do you use for this? So, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I told her privately that I have done something like this, and I did that while she was going through a lot of hard times, so she missed it. So, what she, <laughs> what she did is, she said that she was going to give me ten personal questions. Well, not personal, but ten questions personally for me to answer. So, I'm going to go through these, and I'm going to post this as I'm going on vacation, as a farewell, um, for now. Uh, I'm looking, as I'm on vacation, to look for a new job, to look for a new place to live. Um, I'm hoping to move, and this is going to be a substantial move. Um, I'm moving out of the state. I'm looking to try to start anew. So, um, let's see. Question number one. What does YouTube mean to me? Um, I, I don't really know how to answer this. Uh, it's, it's four in the morning. I got off work about three hours ago. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm going to answer these as honest as possible. Yes. I, I, I have been drinking. I got home. Okay. Um, I'm having a little bit to drink. Um, <clears throat> What does YouTube mean to me? YouTube does mean a lot to me because I... Okay, let me start off with saying growing up, I was a very introverted person. I I didn't like to talk to people. I didn't like going places. Um, I, 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 I didn't know how to handle social situations, social pressure. I didn't like being part of crowds. I, I was always the one that was like, uh, like when, when I was around everybody was growing up, even, even though I had been growing up with them for years and they're all like, Hey, we're going to go play football. Hey, we're going to go play soccer. Hey, we're going to play basketball. I was always the one that was like, um, I'm, I'm going to sit out or, uh, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll be a ref. You know, I, I would try to figure out an excuse to not be involved, to not be centralized, not to be focused on. And it wasn't until college that eventually I broke out of that. Uh, I had an amazing teacher in college, and now I can't shut up. And in YouTube. That's why, like, these past few weeks have been so fucking hard for me. And it's no fault to anyone else. I'm trying to do a very good thing. I'm trying to help somebody through a very difficult time right now, personally. And I haven't been able to really record. I haven't really been able to edit anything because the videos I did have fucked up. And YouTube has been an outlet to me. It's something that I've been able to be vocal with. It's something I've been able to expand my horizons with. I've met new people. We're scattered all across the entire world. It's been fucking phenomenal. And the biggest downside to it is I just haven't been able to keep up with it because I have so much other things going on right now. But what it is to me is it's 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 an outlet. It's a way to express myself who I really am. And it's been amazing. And I do love YouTube for for that and I've been doing it for about a year now so it, it, it has helped me personally as a person grow um, let's see question number two god that took for fucking forever and went way out there um, if you could have any job in the world what would it be and why Ooh. honestly okay I, I, I don't think I can narrow this down to a specific like 
this is it, like tiny, like iota type style. Um, but anything in the entertainment industry. Because to make somebody laugh, to make somebody forget about their day, means the world to me. To let them, like, not think about something stressful in their life. You know, not to worry about somebody in their life who's sick or who's dying or a financial reason. Like, ooh, how am I going to pay this bill? How am I going to take care of my kid? How am I going to keep my car? How am I going to fix this? If you can take somebody away from that, even just for a very, very minuscule moment, it's all worth it. And if you can put yourself out there and make yourself look like a fool, make yourself look like an absolute jackass, and especially if it's coming some, from somewhere that's real, that people can relate to, it makes them feel better about themselves. And just to see that smile, just to hear that you had made somebody just feel good for a moment, that's that's what it's all about. I mean, that that that's... That's one big thing that I like to say all the time is, if you can't laugh at yourself, you can't laugh at anybody else. So, yeah, if, if I could be somehow in the entertainment industry, that would be it. And that's why. Okay, uh, question number three. What is your favorite console slash genre for gaming? Um, my favorite console... Oh, damn. Damn. Okay. So, growing up, we really weren't PlayStation people, but I'm going to get into that, so don't don't judge. Um, N64 was very big for me, because where I live, we live in a thing called Sears Homes. They were shipped in on trains, they are very cookie cutter, um, like, I had a lot of friends in this area, and I could go into their house and basically know the entire layout, because everything was very similar, minus like, one or two little adjustments, like... Instead of having a wall, you know, parallel, it was this way. You know, that, that's about it. So, uh, with that being said, like, we, a lot of us grew up together, and a lot of us, you know, are in the same neighborhood. I, I had a friend, um, she was a prom date. Um, she used to kick the shit out of me in Goldeneye. We used to play Goldeneye all the time. Uh, I think we did some Duke Nukem together, even, maybe. And, <sighs> yeah. So, like, N64 is a big, big part of my life, because that was really the big first thing I got into. Like, I played original Nintendo, uh, I played Super Nintendo at a friend's house, but, like, N64 was really the big thing for me. Um, but that being said, GameCube was also very huge for me. Um, I did a lot of that, there was a lot of great games on that, but I think one of the biggest games that was really influ influential to me was on the PlayStation 2 and it and the the weird part is uh, my brother uh, when he was going to college not too far from here like basically right across the street is where the college is um, he, he, he met a couple guys and showing my age we the internet wasn't very big at the time uh, magazines were still very big and very popular, and that's how you got your information about like what's coming up or how to do this, how to do that. You know, the the internet wasn't very intuitive as it is now. Um, he got a demo disc. One of his friends did. My brother did. Uh, one of my brother's friends uh, got a got a uh, a demo disc. And my brother's like, hey, check this out. Let me know what you see on it. Let me you know if there's anything cool on it. I'm going to work. So I, I threw that in the PlayStation and checked out some stuff. And there was a trailer for a game. And I couldn't believe this game existed. So I showed it to my brother. And somehow, magically, he found it. I don't know how. I knew nobody, personally. Like, people I talk to in real life have never heard of this game. They've never played it. And that was the very first Monster Hunter for PlayStation 2. That game brought my brother and I together so horribly. <laughs> like, I, I want to say horribly, because it wasn't quite a race to see who could beat it. It, it was just like, oh, dude, you fucking found this? How the hell did you do that? And, like I said, like, internet wasn't big. So, like, 
RPG games have always had a huge impact in my life. Like, we played Gauntlet together. We played uh, Champions of Norath. We played, uh, oh, God, what, what, oh, shit, what is it? What is it called? We played Boulder's Gate together. Like, RPGs have always been the biggest thing for me in my life. Uh, da Hexign, um Shit, what's another good one? I don't even know. I can't even think off the top of my head. We played a lot of RPGs together. So I, I, I would have to say console is very difficult, but I want to say PlayStation 2 was the big one for me because of that game, but RPGs have been the biggest impact in my life. Because even if they were only single player and not multiplayer, my brother and I, we did a lot of things different. Like, when we played Knights of the Old Republic, he went good, I went evil. When we played Fable, same thing. He went good, I went evil. So we could see the whole game from multiple aspects. So those have the biggest impact in my life. And he has as well so okay uh why do i enjoy gaming so much this is question number four um the biggest thing of that is my my parents have always been involved in a lot of community service things um they're very big in the lions club uh it, it's a way to give back to the community it was a way to keep them busy keep them doing things and the further they got into it the further their horizons kind of broadened and, and there were days when I was I, I was going to be even in an elementary school. There there were times that they would take off like on a Thursday and wouldn't be back until like Tuesday. So I'm the youngest of five, you know. So a lot of them have moved out by the time I was really growing. They, they've helped me be the, the the person I am now, which is absolute shit. So you guys fucked up. So um. But anyways, like, uh, the one brother that is the closest to my age, he had the opportunity as we we're growing up to say, you know what, you're being the annoying little brother, I'm going to go and hang out with my friends. I'm going to go and hang out with my girlfriend, who soon became his wife. No, he didn't do that. He, he put all that off and hung out with me, and the best thing we bonded was gaming. We, we played... Army and Sergeant's Heroes, we played Donkey Kong Racing, we played Mario Kart, Animal Crossing. It, we played so many games together, and that was such a bonding experience. Like, he became one of my biggest idols. I, I mean, he's doing so well for himself. Yeah, I mean, he's got a full... He's got a family, and he's taking care of them, and it's... That is the one thing that always connected us, was was that, and, like, Marvel, and He-Man, and Back of Mice from Mars, and it, it, I owe it all to gaming. It was something that him and I could do together that you can't do nowadays. You know, there really isn't that many co-op sit-down-on-the-same-couch games anymore. I mean, I, I, I remember one of the first full games that we beat together that we both kind of were very emotional about was the first Gears of War. Like, yeah, we played a lot of other games together, but I, I remember that one being very emotional. Other than the first Borderlands, I mean that was fucking awesome. But that that that's why I enjoy gaming so much. Is it, it reminds me of like sitting together on a couch with somebody, like whether it be one of my brothers or and especially my oldest brother. And when we play Gauntlet, and you always heard Yellow Wizard is about to die, like <laughs> making fun of him so much for that, it was amazing. But like gaming had always just brought everybody who was so you know, close to me and so relevant in my life together and it gave us something unique to kind of bond over. And, and you know, movies can try and to do that, TV shows can try to do that, but video games bring people together so much more than what they're given credit for. So, okay, question number five. God, this is taking way too long. Question number five. Do you know what a reverse stranger is? Wait. Wait a minute. Isn't the stranger when you sit in your hand until it goes numb and then you masturbate? So is a reverse stranger just regularly jacking off? Bella.
What are you doing? <laughs> you were snoring. Okay. She was snoring and I woke her up. Her eyes were bloodshot. I'm sorry, baby boo. Okay, um, or, or is it one of the, like, is a reverse stranger one of the things, like, when you go on a date with somebody or you just met somebody new and you're, like, hanging out and you're, like, trying to make a good first impression and that one fucking friend, we all have, we all have that prick who can keep their mouth shut, can't friggin' understand, like, social situations, and they see you, like, on a date, and they're just like, hey, remember the time when you shit yourself? And you're, like, trying to pretend that like, you have no idea who that person is, and you're, like, trying to disregard them. You're pulling this whole thing, like, I have no idea who this person is. Like, oh, yeah, sure, I, I met them at a Denny's once at, like, 2 a.m. after a concert, and they were being loud. I've never talked to the person. And then as soon as you walk away, you're, like, texting them, like, dude, I'm so fucking sorry. Just, like, chill the fuck out, and I'll apologize and make it up to you later. Is, is, is that a reverse stranger? I don't... I don't know. I, I really feel like this has no sexual content whatsoever involved with it because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, question number six, who's your favorite YouTuber and why? This is very simple. Ego Raptor. Yeah. Ego Raptor is my favorite YouTuber and is very simple because this guy cares so much for everybody else but himself. I mean, he's taking care of himself. He's been working out. He's on been he's been on new diets. But this guy, uh, like I, just to shake his hand, just to sit shake Aaron's hand, would be the biggest accomplishment in my life. He he donates constantly. He puts everybody before him. He is constantly trying to work on everything. The dude is an amazing voice actor. He can sing. He has helped so many people. And he's such an amazing entrepreneur. Like, and, and the worst part is, like, him and I are the same age. Like, that, that that's one thing that kills me. That a lot of people are like, oh, I can't have a favorite so-and-so or I can't idolize somebody that is within, like, X amount of years. No, like, Ego Raptor has been a huge influence for me ever since Newgrounds. Like, I, I, I miss painting. I miss drawing. I miss being artistic. And I just don't have the funds. I don't have the means to keep up with it. But he was one of the guys who was like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And he found a way to make it work. And... He's hilarious, and just, that's my biggest goal, is to is to be a grump head at some point, and, and to just to meet him. Like, I love all the game grumps, but Aaron, you're awesome, dude. I, I, I know you'll never see this, but <laughs> you're amazing. Just, just fucking high five, dude. High five. High five. Okay. Uh, number seven. Do you ever think of your inevitable demise? All the time. All the fucking time. I can't do it to myself right now, but like when I sneeze, I'm not just like a hot chew and I'm done. No, it's like a hip, 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 like mm, 10 times. I know those are going to eventually stop my heart and I'm going to die. Um, I'm quite a bit of an alcoholic, so I know that may also, like, I'll be on my deathbed praying for that last, like, you know, shot of Johnny Walker and it won't happen. But, I, I, you know, we all think about dying. We all think about death because we are, we all are going to die. Yeah, there, there are ways I would prefer to go than others, but, you know, let, let, let what happens happen. The, the one thing that I can truly think about my, in, you know, my intimate demise is, I, I don't want it to be, you know, like most people. I want to go in my sleep. I want it to be as most peaceful as possible. I want to be as most painless as possible. If I had the choice, I want it to be the fact that I saved somebody else. If I can sacrifice myself to let some child or some person live and fulfill their life, that's how I 
personally would want to go. I don't care if it lasted for weeks. I don't care if I am tortured and I'm bled out. I don't care. As long as I am preventing somebody else from suffering, that is my ultimate goal. So, okay, let's get off of that. Um, if you had one wish, what would it be? What would you wish for? Um, this is very tricky because I would totally want to be to. I would love to be able to wish to be financially set and be able to take my take care of my entire family and generations to come. But I want to be selfish. I want to be so selfish on this one right now. My one wish. Would you to be able to understand, speak, and write every language on earth? Because to be that multilinguistic, I feel like I could achieve every goal in my life that I would want. I feel like I could be able to provide for my family and all others. I feel like I could be the most useful person on the planet. I feel like I could be able to decipher all notes and terrorist acts and encrypted messages and buy everything. Everything. And I feel like I would be like one of the most valuable people on the planet. Yet I would also be targeted, but it'd be worth it. Because of all the lives I could save and protect. So I, I and plus how how much fun would it be to be able to go to any place on vacation and just be able to speak their native tongue completely and show the utmost respect. It would be fucking phenomenal. That That's totally how I would do it. So, okay. Um, uh, question number nine. Are you a weeaboo? No, I'm not. I love, I love everything about it, but I'm not that intelligent enough to be able to keep up with all that shit. So, um... Uh, if, 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 if I remember right, uh, weeaboo, uh, oh, no, like, I'm, 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 s fuck you, I am so totally not a weeaboo, like, I love their culture, I love the, the, the stuff that they they produce, and they, you know, kind of export out to the world, I do love anime, um, I, I have particular anime that I am, truly involved with, well, well, I can't say involved, that I, I'm in love with, um, I, but everybody has that, so, in my weeaboo, no, because I'm, I basically make liquid paper look like it's a sharpie, I'm, I'm, I'm white, I, I can't change it, I can't be like, oh, I am so into this, I'm so, no, like, I'm too dumb and too white to, to, to try to play that off, um, okay, Question number 10, the final question. Let's get this over with. Uh, what is the most important thing you want to make sure your subscribers know about you? That I am here for me. I love every single one of you. I do. I can't believe anybody is following me. I can't believe anybody watches my videos or comments, likes, will subscribe, anything. I cannot believe it. I, I, I just can't. And I, I want to be able to show each and every one of you that same respect and that same love back. I have made some amazing friends. I have met some amazing people. I, I'm not good at keeping up with everybody's content. I'm not good about trying to comment and like everybody's videos or as much as possible. But what I want I, each and every one of them is I'm never going to pander my channel. I will never tell you to like, to share, to subscribe. I'm not in this to try to be the next big thing. Had that has for some reason that ever happened? Fucking great. And I will put a thousand more percent than what I have been trying to do into this channel. But I I I'm doing this because I want to. I don't care if all of a sudden I go from my hundred some odd subscribers down to ten. I don't care because I'm gonna do this regardless. Every chance that I get 
to record a video, to edit a video, to post, to go and play with somebody, to go and talk to somebody else, to watch their videos and have them possibly watch my... It's, a, it's such a, a feeling that is undescribable. But I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this because I think I can be the next PewDiePie, Markiplier, uh, you know, Jacksepticeye, fucking the High Five Universe, or uh, RPG Minx, you know, Cinnabeast, and, and and Bob, and all of them. I, I'm not going, you know, the game rooms. I'm not going to be them. If that happens, that's amazing. And I can do so much more to give back. But I'm doing this because I want to. And I want you all to know that. Like, I'm not going... Like, unless I specifically ask, what do you want to see? What do you want? I'm going to put out videos that I want to... Shit that I want to see. You know, stuff that I think is funny. That I think is relevant. I'm doing this for me. And if you don't respect that, if you don't like that, that's fine. That's up to you. You know, I don't want to be fake. I don't want to be like, oh, they don't like this, so I need to stop and start doing this. Or I need to start saying this. I need to start... No, that's not who I am. I am righteous high five for a reason. I don't believe in being fake and using mods and using hacks and being a complete tool. No. We are here because we love each other, we respect each other, and we have same ideals. And is I'm all I want is for people to come together and see that as a place that they can be themselves, that they can be with people who are like-minded who respect each other, and can share other experiences other than the fact that they just watched me eat 10 habaneros and be drunk and play on Fair Mario. That's what it's all down to me. You know, that's what it all comes down to. That is what I want all of you to know. I love and respect each and every single one of you who do subscribe. Who do? Who do? Who do subscribe. Who share, who like, who comment, and I can't show enough love to each and every one of you to bring it back. You know, like, I want to be able to watch every single person's video who is subscribed to me, who do make content. I want to be able to comment on every single video. It's just, as you all know, we can't do that. We, we are human. We do our best. I try to go through my list throughout the week. And I go straight through alphabetical order, and I try to go through so much, and I go through so much, and go through so much. But as of late, it's just been absolute hell. But that is what I want you guys to know the most. I am doing this for me. Because I want to. I'm not going to do this for you unless I specifically ask. And if you have a problem with that, unsubscribe. I don't care. So, thank you Michael Murray, my boo, my bae, my internet love. Um, <laughs> uh, she she has been phenomenal. I am so happy she did this. I got to know a little bit more about her, and you guys did too. You really got a deep seated conversation with me like that. That that went dark a couple times. So um, this is gonna be my last video though for quite a long time. Uh. The, mainly because I, I, I'm, I'm trying to progress my life in other ways. So I'm going to try to keep up with everybody. I'm going to try to keep everything going. If I can get some more videos out, that would be great. So until then, as always, everybody, remember, stay righteous. <laughs>